This is the picture from the Apollo 8 on Earth. Look. See the green deal? This is the, the electromagnetic uh, crystalline structure that surrounds Earth. See, look at the bright microspheres. They're all over the place. And you can see the geometry too. The geometry of hands. Now look, this is an image from the International Space Station engulfed in the same geometric, uh, electromagnetic crystalline structures. I mean, you cannot even see the, hardly the space station and the camera is right there. Then look at the bright points. Look. This is the same thing that you see in this picture right here. You just have to brighten it up to be able to see them right. Because that's what NASA does. They they use different... They did use several uh, tampering methods, but not enough back in those days to, to, to block the view on this thing. So it looks bluish and green. There's other colors blending there, but you can see the geometrical patterns. That's all there is there. Look, right there. You can see the, the, the same geometrical pattern that you'll see in, in the other images. And you see a small, it's always based on the same geometry, hence. That's the geometrical pattern. I mean, clearer than this, it can be, man. Oh, look at this, right here. This is on the ISS. Greenish, bluish, exactly like the one on, on. Look, this is the, the live view right there. Look how they, they, they glittering. In fact, they're vibrating. This is what maintains the, this reality. So that's what my question is. Is this a holographic deal or we're in a... It's just a construct. There's no doubt about it. So the, the, the question is how in the world can we fly through this? I mean, it's some kind of energy that we just... We just don't know anything. This is beyond our knowledge, way beyond our knowledge or the knowledge of who knows. I mean, there might be aliens somewhere, but this has nothing to do with that. This is God-like knowledge, man. Knowledge of control of every type of energy and geometry. Dr. Bergman was right. This is all based in, geomet in geometry. See, look how it vibrates. And you see flashes and stuff. Well, the same thing the, the, the astronauts were experiencing here on, this, on these images from the Apollo 8 is the, is the best example of that. Look, you can see right there. Look at the, the, look at the blue deal and the, the, 
the geometry of hands. Look, this is a finger and a fingernail right there. That's the next one bigger. But it's made out of smaller ones. It's, I mean, it's, then look at this piece right here that is super visible right there, look. Well, what that is, is this a, a freaking hand, a finger? Probably like this because I've seen it so many times. Like it's holding something, but I saw a picture where the entire planet was grabbed by an enormous hand. The same thing on the moon. Look. That's on the ISS, this, this deal right here. Look how it vibrates. You can see the bright, all those bright even, uh, sphere, microspheres. They're very visible. I mean, now the, the station is more visible because it's approaching the, the, the division, the shadow line between the shadow dark part and the bright part. And see how the, the light dims and, and see how it gets dark and, and it gets bright. So the light that comes from, I don't know if that's the song, it comes in waves. I don't think it's the sunlight because you can see a, a, a constant light, but you see this brightening whoosh, that comes in waves. So this is all based in, in, in that, that electromagnetic energy, but it's a different type than the one we know of. Well, something really, really weird and advanced. And nobody's looking into this. This is really sad. Look at this. Then you can see the spheres right there. Look, the same little spheres. Well, they're not that little in this image. Well, they are of different sizes. And I guess they all, the entire thing con contains this reality. Is what maintains this, this, solar system. There is an image of Soho that shows this why the solar system is white and colorful, but it's not dark like this. It's only one frame that I found in the Soho image theater. I don't know uh, anyone else is, is, is studying this deal. No one else is talking or studying or even mentioning anything like this. See, look, look at the hands right there, so clear. Look at that. Check it out. This is sad, man. Dumbass. See, look. That's the ISS. I've been posting about this for the past five years. Like I say, nobody, look, look at the, the blue spheres right there. They all are part of this, uh, they, they, they make up the, the, or sustain this reality, this, this energetic geometrical deal that we are in. It's all sustained, see, look, right there. You can see the bright, little bright spherical things, although they're not, not that spherical. Some of them are elongated. You can see they're in front, next, behind the ISS. You can see them on top of the, the, the solar panels. Look, right there. You can see it here too. 
it all over the place. So that's what I'm saying that this look, in this image of the Apollo 8, look how they, they're so visible, my goodness. You see, the image itself is vibrating, but it's because this thing is present between the camera and the monitor here in my house. It's, it's, this is what you're looking at. The camera can see this, but we cannot. And that's the kick-ass part, that you will only see this thing on images. You don't see it with your own eyes. Very impossible except on clouds. The clouds are reflecting all that geometry. I can prove it, look. See, look how it's, it's, it's projecting its own image several times, several layers of its own image. So is this a holographic deal? Or what the heck is this? We are in, in a construct, but wow, man, I mean, it's visible, too. Just that people are no, they're not paying attention to any of that. They bamboozle with the UFO shit. Oh, UFO, alien, blah, blah, blah. Well, golly, man, but think about if, if this is what is being projected. All of these things are being projected, too. The consciousness that control this reality is probably trying to give us a, a wake up our, our consciousness. Hey, you know, it might be alien, but this is what you should be really thinking about, your own deal here. This is like, hey, evolve. Unify your planet, unify your people. Stop those the nonsense war deal and get rid of that money system that creates criminality and it, it's, it's the deal why these wars happen. Because one people want more and the other wants to control the other and it's always that kind of crap. And money is like 99% of that problem. The day that we uni unify this planet into one country, one planet, one race, all of that will disappear. And then we will invest all our knowledge and material and everything for the well-being of the human race and the planet. Then we're going to go up and probably meet all these other evolved races that are out there. These people, this so-called alien, we wanted to invade us. They would have done it long, long time ago. They probably have been coming and seeing, oh, they don't, they don't horses. They're still killing each other. Oh, they're hunting animals, eating fucked up meat. And, you know, the, the horror the animal live through, they, they're eating that. And that uh, may give them sickness and makes them uh, get uh, age faster. They get older faster because they're eating that crap. It's, it's, it's sad, man. And see, look, the, 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 this bright deal that you see on that image of the Apollo is, is also showing here. See, look, the same bluish deal. Look, it's right there. See, look, right there. The same blue deal that you saw on that image is also showing here. See, look. That same thing is happening here, too. Look at that. Look, the same blue deal is showing in both places. One is a light.